I think this by far has to be the most unique venue we've ever eaten a meal in our lives. So cute. 40 minutes away from the city center, we're here. We're about to feed some deers in a deer farm. Here we are feeding um, the deers and they get very aggressive, y'all. All right, pull it, pull it, pull it. Okay, just bite it, bite. Okay. And um, yeah, check it out. What's about to happen next? Oh, it's ATV it's time. time. I'm driving in. <laughs> well, it's dinner time, and um. I think we're having deer for dinner. Not gamey at all, like deer can get. No, no. Very, well, very well marinated. They're just fresh, fresh from the farm. Yep. Sorry, deer. This is exactly what you say, farm. To our accommodation tonight. For the night, actually. Like okay, let's see what's going on here. This might be. This is the bedroom. bedroom. There's another. Oh, oh there's the two, two beds. beds. The two beds. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Very cool. This is how to protect a uh, chempedak fruit from the ants or the foreign invaders. <laughs> Uncle Roger would approve. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Oh, the sauce is different. This is like more limey. It's good. It goes very well. Citrusy. It's a calamansi. Adventure time again. I think we're gonna go kayak for the first time. Are we in Thailand or in Malaysia? <laughs> We're at the border actually. So we are walking to our dine-in spot. 
Yeah, you'll see literally what that dine-in means. But this is, is very cool. So We're in the Kampung. Cool. We're actually in the Kampung area, surrounded by these trees. Probably the most Kampung area we've ever been. There's a river. Show you around, guys. Show you around. We've got some guests here joining us for lunch. Whoa, smells delicious wow. in here. And I smell the gulai right away. I think this by far has to be the most unique venue we've ever eaten a meal in our lives. I mean, come on. You could, how many people could say they've eaten in a river? Not many. Five people have just came to this spot. A whole wide variety of home cooked food. That's right, home cooked food. This is your recipe. Yes, my recipe. Yes. Originality. Yay. Good job. Got a nice mix. We got everything you need here. We got seafood, we got some meat, two types of meat, veggies. The veggies we really need. We need a lot of meat without as much veggies. We need that. Uh, we got the rice. All right, so we're gonna go first. Is this one? This is supposed to be the really special. It's the gulai dogging with the banana stem. Gotta go in with the hands. Ooh. This is the first thing I smell when we walk in here. Was that gulai? Mm. The beef is very tender, but I love the texture of this banana stem. Kind of crunchy. A little tender, but also crunchy. Mm. Wow. And the gulai is not heavily spicy. It's got a little spice to it, but it's more aromatic, nice coconut milk, a little sweet. Mm. And then we got this pakasam. This is the really funky fermented fish. We've tried this once already, alo and now we have here, it's covered in that crushed rice, fried. Ooh, I smell that funk. Mm. This one's quite salty. You need it with that rice, because you need a buffer with this funk right here. Mm. Very pungent, but I like it. But you have to have a rice, you have it by itself, it is really, really intense. I really want to talk about here too is this beautiful kambing, it's this mutton soup with herb. And the mutton's just coming right off the bone, look at that. Mm. You have this, this bag of spices in there, like a mystery blend of spices, but you can smell that herbal. It's almost like Chinese herbal soup. You have these little berries that are in there too. And it's like this one right here. There's only some medicinal berries. You have lemongrass in there. There's whole cloves of cinnamon. Like it's actually the perfect thing to eat after this intense salty pakasam. Mm. Got our veggies. I think that's got enough. I can't even talk about anywhere. I just want to eat, enjoy the vibe. The pakasam is super salty. It is. It's dried fish, fermented. Apparently it's super salty, but ah, it smells delicious. Mm, it is salty. <laughs> but man, you get that, take it, mix with some veg tea, a little bit of sambal, rice, let's see. Mm. Perfect bite. Mm. What kind of coffee? Arabica. Arabica. And this one? Same? Same. Oh, Arabica. Oh. <gasps> wow, it's coffee flour right here too. Look at those red coffee beans, look at that. So this is the coffee fruit. And inside is the seed for the coffee bean and they roast it themselves. So they really make their own kampung kopi here. It's really, really special, kampung kopi. I mean, Malaysia's coffee culture, you know, we cover it a lot. And if you've been in Malaysia or if you haven't, you gotta know that the coffee culture here is serious. We also had a little bit of it, no, actually a lot of it today because we need that. Coffee and honey, which is 
Yeah, honey more. bee-less, uh, stingless bee honey. Which is healthier. <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> okay. Okay, welcome to our home sweet home for the night. And um, look what we have here. Boom. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the hot spring. So today we just stopped by here at this roadside makan for breakfast and here in Bali. Very local spot when people are here. Come to mama. Same looking breakfast here. We're at tip top corner here. We're out in the kampung. I love the vibe here. And look at this beautiful roti, the tip top special. Tip top special is the chopped up roti. It's banjeered and it looks like some sort of curry or gravy. And to see what that is. Then we have the double egg, the telor goyang, just dancing around. I'm loving it. And I don't even know where to begin. As a matter of fact, take some of that roti, take some of that egg. Crack that yolk. Look at that beautiful orange yolk. Look at that sauce. Mmm. <coughs> Man, that's such a spicy cake, it's creamy. The roti's not really crispy, but it goes so perfectly with this. Mm. It reminds me a lot of what we had in Penang. There was a few places that do the roti banjir with egg, and uh, some do it with the meat. This has no meat, but Jumi also got it with the cheese. This is crazy. It's actually getting spicier as I eat it, which I love. So I think I'm already going to declare it. I think uh, Kedah might be the roti capital of Malaysia. Uh-oh. <laughs> Bold claim, but that's two straight places here in Kedah uh -oh. with incredible roti. Like some roti I've never seen before. Make sure. Atlantic single. So we got another beautiful <laughs> roti here. This one's a little different. It doesn't have the telur goyang. Beautiful orange yolk. There's a little ketchup, little soy sauce here too. Mmm. This is a little sweeter. I think it's from the ketchup. Yeah, not as not as spicy. Now we heard there's a special tetarik drink here, but when I ordered this kopi, I did not expect it to arrive like this. This is like the Terengganu Kalantan East Coast style foamy drink. I've never seen it in a coffee. I've seen it with the tea, which we also ordered. We heard this is a special. We had to get it. So this kopi, I'm really excited. It's got this beautiful white foam from that milk. Mm. Oh, it's very sweet, creamy. Definitely has that kind of like Vietnamese coffee taste to it. And now we have to go with their signature tetarik, this foamy tetarik. Look at that. Whoever came up with this is a genius. I, I love this idea. It's not as sweet as you would think, but it's like perfect sweetness level. I think maybe honey in here. I know the East Coast, they use honey in sometimes, but I think also just, just the appeal of the foam. It's just a beautiful drink. It pairs perfectly with the roti, especially the double special, which is spicier. You gotta get one of these drinks or both. Our food already. <laughs> First, it makes the roti fresh. Ooh, we're not a morning person, but man, <laughs> these rotis are so good. Today's adventure we're gonna go get in the water with raft. Yep. heading to our confidence water. test water confidence so we're going to jump here so we got off our boat the plan is we're going to get on this boat or the boat's going to be here a raft water rafting over there How was it? Oh, 
my gosh so after that extreme we're gonna go to semi-extreme Welcome to the longest street top walk in the world. What did we do today? Oh man, we were wiped out by the... Uh, I was literally wiped out a couple times. Water rafting, oh man. So I wiped this out, but this is a nice chill activity. High above those same rapids that we were going through earlier. <laughs> 